All right, everybody, how you doing? Welcome back to another review. This is the Uncharted Vapor, Joshua Ozzy. And today I'm bringing you a review on a product that was sent to me for the purposes of the review. Now, this was sent to me on loan. I didn't get paid for this. I ain't keeping this. And I didn't ask for it for free. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it, drop it down, let you see what it looks like on the inside, bring it back up on top, talk about it, and give you my pros and cons, and then we're going to do some shout outs. So I will talk to you down low. Alright, so here we are down below with the Yuri RDA. So I got three tens in front of me. I got all the variations pretty much right now offered along with what's going to come with the security card. So with that, what we're going to also try to do is make this a little bit brighter for you. So let's see which way is brighter is that? Nope, that's darker. So let's go back that way. Alright, so there you go. So there we go. Alright. So what we got is three tins. How they come packaged is in a metal tin. This one, as you see, had some extras in it, so it's a little dented, but this is actually what it will look like when you get it in like that. Okay, and then you're going to get a card like so. Now, with this card, when you flip it over, it is the authentic authenticity card. It's the ACR, the card that tells you the, the, the stuff is reals, okay? This card hereby certifies the authenticity of your personal vaping device, Yuri. Designed and manufactured in the Philippines by Bricks Makino Innovations. And it gives you the serial number. It is signed by Bricks Makino, CEO and owner of the company. So you'll get that in your package. So let me show you some options, some versions of this. Let's bring it out some a little bit. There we go. And show you what you got. So this one right here, well, you'll get a sticker, which will be the Yuri sticker. I've got one out already that I've been using to test out. So you get to get a sticker. All right. So in this tin, let's open it up. Let's open this one up. All right. So I somehow got sent three decks. And all them caps. So this comes with different caps and decks, basically allowing you to customize based on your mod. Now, I was given the option, but he sent it anyway to show you the differences between tips that you can get. They are currently working on um, custom tips for this as well. So this is what one of your caps will look like. This is the Ultim cap, okay? And in the Ultim cap, you'll see a wide open airflow. Let's just separate this, see if I can without breaking it. Okay, I'm not going to. So let's just go over it. You get an ultim, you have an ultim version of it. You get a accessory bag, which will also have a plug, a 510 drip tip, a 510 adapter, a squonk pen in case you want to squonk, some extra post screws, O-rings as well. So that'll come with it. And then here's another one with a cool sticker. I like that one. I like this sticker better than the other one. This one looks cooler. Um, let me show you the differences on the two decks that I've got for you that I'm going to show you that have not been used. Um, and the reason why is because I wanted to show... See, that one came out with the screw as well. Luckily, I caught that one in my hand this time. I lost one before. Um, let's see here. So it comes in with the studded screw. It, it's a flathead. Okay. And woohoo. All right. So this one's the all black version with the black drip tip. You also have the option to get it with a white drip tip. Here is your deck. Let's go ahead and put that screw back in there. And we're just going to finger tighten it in. I'm not going to mar this deck up. Or anything for someone else who buys it um, all 
All right, so there we go. So, to give you a breakdown of what it looks like, okay, there you go. So here's your deck, okay? Two post deck, one milled inside, one separated by an insulator. Um, you have your 510 post, which is right here, a squonk pin that you can put in. Squonk through the center comes up, separated by the, um, let's go ahead and zoom that in. Separated by the holes, basically, to uh, put your coil leads in, have a place to cut it with no problems. Then on side of your ring, right here, has two air flows, one on each side. It says Yuri RDA. This is machined very well. There's no sharp edges anywhere on this, you know, at all. This is an aluminum body, aluminum body. And then you see your AFC, which comes on each cap. Your large screws. Then you will have, okay, so you have a double hole. What is that? Um, your large slit that you can adjust. And then you get a single hole. The single hole is going to be more for your restrictive direct lung. Um, single coil because with that plug you can actually drop it down to a single coil RDA and I'll show you what that looks like in a second and then as far as drip tips go you can get it with a black drip tip or like the silver one has a white drip tip now I opted to show you the black one today because on the black one if there was any flaws you know then you would be able to see it so let's go ahead and put this back together so as you can see, it's very well done. When it's lubed up, very easy to move. Both sides adjust at the same time. See, look at that. So you have nothing to worry about. It's not focusing. Focus. There we go. All right. So there you go. As you see, it will focus. Focuses. All right. So there you go. As you can see, the air hole is the same on both sides. Twist the O-ring or twist the uh, AFC ring and get it where you want to. Um, so you can basically go to Cloud Chaser, Restricted Direct Lung, um, and then a very loose mouth to lung style or single coil, um, basically which you, however you want to vape it. It's a decent sized juice well. Inside the juice well, we have roughly, I don't know if my caliper actually has a juice well measure. Actually, it does. Go figure. So let's figure this one out. All right. Here we go. Let's zero that out. Bring it down. Juice well inside is 1.7 mils. So it's got about a 2 mil juice well inside of it roughly, give or take, 1.7, 1.8 mil juice well. Not bad. Machining on the outside very well. As you see, the serial card for this, for that black card, says number 036. I know why they sent 036 to me, because they knew that I like black, and that's why they sent the card. Um, it says Brinks Makino Innovation PH on the bottom. Let's get you in camera to focus that. Bricks Makino Innovations PH, Yuri RDA, CE stamped on it for their logo, and has his logo on the side. There's not a whole lot of branding going on besides the name of the RDA. That's all that you get on the cap. You get his main logo, the name of the RDA, and then his manufacturing company underneath. That's it. Okay, so very well done, very well made. So let's go ahead and put that back in the bag. Let's put this one in here with all the accessories inside with it. The Ultim cap, let's set this over here. Do, 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 don't you love it when it takes so long to put away, but everybody says you don't know what you're doing, hey.
Alright. Alright, there we go. Alright. So the only other difference is it's the color. You get silver, says Yuri, it's engraved into it. Same thing on the bottom. This is number 42 with his logos. Um, I'll go over some stuff with it. Then you get the white drip tip. Okay, that one didn't do so bad. But in shipping, it did dent the tin can up. It happened, you know, it's a it's a thin tin can. Um, and it was moving around. So that's why I'm going to actually put it together the way I am for right now. And then I'll put another Hattie right there. Actually, let's just put that back in right here. So there's that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bring it back up on top. I am going to show you the one that I've been running and testing probably going on two weeks now. Just so that way you can have a better idea of what's been going on. So with that, I'll talk to you back up on top. Let's zoom this back out some. And we'll be back on top here shortly. All right, everybody. Welcome back on top with the Bricks RDA by Bricks Makino Innovations. That's right. I will link his information in the description down below. So with that, some pros and cons on the RDA myself. And I will give it to you straight like I do with everybody. I'm currently running it with the dual airflow open. I've tried all three. Works all well. Um, they do work very well. Um, one thing is this. Okay, so let's start off with some pros. Different airflow adjustments, amazing. Options for caps, amazing right off the gate. Black, stainless steel, um, Ultum, and then I think this is copper or brass, one of the two. I, I always mix my metal up, but it's. I think this is brass. Um, it's naval brass if I remember right. Then you have the addition, the option to choose between a black drip tip or a white drip tip and the options of new drip tips are coming out as well. So with that, there's some great pros. It's also hybrid safe because I am actually using it on a Vapors Cloud XXX mech mod with an 18650 inside running 22 gauge Nichrome 80 on the inside of my mod with a 20s battery so i'm running it around a 0.2 ohm build inside safety first people i think we'll do a video on that later okay cons with any rda you get you know it needs to be cleaned up now granted i got these sent out rapidly to go ahead and start testing it cleaning it you know you know so i could do the review on this okay so i'm the first to get it before everybody sort of seeing it coming out on the market um price points i think were 4,800 4, pesos pesos with the plug, the Ultim plug insert, so you can drop it to single coil. And I think it's like four or four four somewhere in that zone without the plug. Um, I think it was more like four or forty four. I can't remember. It's somewhere between four and forty four hundred pesos without the um, additional plug. The ability to drop this down to a five ten drip tip with a single coil. And drop your airflow down to a smaller airflow hole. Give someone who's looking for flavor chasing, because this is a 24 millimeter RDA. Um, it's just amazing. You know, the fact that you can put a build in here that's good enough that you can chuck some clouds. Um, and also a build that you can put in if you just want to go and have an RDA for flavor and you can still squonk on it. It's just amazing. The machine work on it was awesome i had no problems with the machine work on it at all whatsoever um i had machine oil and stuff which i felt you know the shop could have cleaned up a little bit better behind them i understand having oil on it but the blackness that's all over it i think they could have done a little bit better on the shop itself before they sent it over to the family to you know put these things together um that's just my input though uh, and then the last thing is you know that was really it. I mean, a couple of them have had it where the screws have fallen out. I don't know if that's from shipping or what, but irregardless, that was the only other thing. So overall, would I recommend the RDA? Yes, this is actually the first review I think I've ever done on a Philippine RDA. Nope, it's the second one. Um, the first one, which was Vicious Amp, the second one is this one here um, that I've ever done. And this one right here 
is very good for what it's designed for and the features for it. Um, the Vicious Ant was the Apex RDA, which is really designed for flavor chasing only. It's a single coil RDA, as this can go dual or single, so multi-purpose. I'm going to put some more juice on it. So I've used this RDA so everybody understands for probably going on two weeks, maybe longer. Doing juice tests, which you'll start seeing those tests come up here shortly. Because um, I tried them on Max and inside of some of the pod devices and stuff I've had as well. And then, of course, I tried it with my juice to make sure that the flavor was there for what I was getting. And with that, I got perfect. I've got great flavor off this. I wouldn't say perfect, because the most thing is perfect, but I got great flavor. So, big shout out to Bricks Makino for making such a nice RDA, for the thought that he put into this, for the way it's designed. Um, it is a small RDA, so I do not recommend to run anything that's massively big, because this is a 24 with a shallow deck, and if you're going to squonk on it, great, but this is not really designed to run a 15 wrap build. If you want to run 15 wraps into something, go to a 30 mil RDA. That's my suggestion to you. You've got to learn how to use your RDAs to your advantage. Um, also remember that this sits down very slow, so it's kind of like almost like a slam cap. So with that, this sits down much closer to the coil than anything else. So if you put too hot of a build, you have a chance of melting the drip tip. And with that, that's all there's really to go over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link Brinks Makino down below. Shout out to Artery Vapor Philippines as one of my sponsors. Big shout out to Burnout E-Liquids as well for being a sponsor in our group. And also big shout out to my sponsor, um, Hits and Chase E-Liquids, which is raw materials and equipment, um, which allows you to be able to make your own E-Liquids at a budget-friendly price. And if you decide to, you can take it. If you like it, flip it and make some money off of it and get the materials from them. So check them out. So if you want to know more about that, get on my page, uh, The Uncharted Vapor on Facebook. Then you can go, if you're watching this video, make sure you go to the group, answer all questions wherever you go, so that way you get put into it. And like and follow my Facebook page, so that way you can stay up to date of where I'm going to be, what's going on, and when new videos will be released. So other than that, Thank you for tuning in. This is the Uncharted Vapor, and I will talk to you next time.